Hello, how to solve this is 5 to the power of k equals k 3 power of 6 to 5. We are solving for all values of k that satisfy this equation. So this is an exponential problem and for us to solve this, we can start by eliminating the k at the exponent. To achieve that, I multiply this exponent by 1 over k. I have 5 power k raised to the power of 1 over k equals k power 6 to 5 and this is raised to the power of 1 over k. Now, remember if you have a power x raised to the power of y, this equals a power x times y. So let's multiply this exponent out. I have 5 power k times 1. This is divided by k equals k power 6 to 5 times 1. We have 6 to 5 divided by k. So from here, k divided by k is 1. So I have 5 equals k power is 6 to 5 divided by k. So the next step will be to eliminate 6 to 5 from both, from this part here. So we'll have 5 power 1 over 6 to 5 equals k power this is 6 to 5 divided by k and this is raised to a prop 1 over 6 to 5. So the next step will be to multiply this out. I will have 5 power 1 over 6 to 5 equals k power 6 to 5 times 1. 6 to 5 divided by k times 6 to 5. We have 6 to 5k. This cancel this. So right now, about 5 power 1 over 6 to 5 equals k power 1 over k. So the next step will be to ensure that this base is the same as the exponent, just as we have k, the same as k here. So to achieve that, so to achieve this, what we are going to do is to make use of this trick. I can simply have this as 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5, that is the same thing as 1. Or let me start by having this as 1 times 1 over 6 to 5. Remember, 1 times 1 over 6 to 5 is the same as 1 over 6 to 5. This equals k power 1 over k. So from here, this one here, I can replace it with 5 over 5 is the same thing as 1. So I have 5 to the power of 5 over 5 times 1 over 6 to 5 equals k power 1 over k. So from here, 5 over 5 is the same thing as 1. So what I need to do will be to multiply this up. I have 5 power 5 times 1. 5 divided by 5 times 6 to 5. 6 to 5 times 5, 5 times 5, 25, 5 carry over 2, 5 times 2, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, we have 2 carry over 1, 5 times 6, 30 plus 1, 31. So this is 31 to 5 equals k power 1 over k. Now from here, I can factor out 5 from here. I have 5 power. 5 times 1 over 3, 1 to 5 equals k power 1 over k. Remember, if you have a power x to the power of n equals a power x times n. So this is 5 to the power of 5. This is raised to the power of 1 over 3, 1 to 5. 
cos k kwa 1 over k. So 5 to the power of 5, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which to the power of 1 over 3, 1 to 5, equals k power 1 over k. So from here, this is 25, this is 6 to 5, this is 3, 1 to 5, raised to the power of 1 over 3, 1 to 5, equals k power 1 over k. Now, if you have a power 1 over a equals p power 1 over b, that means 1 over a equals 1 over b. If you cross multiply, a times 1, you have a equals b times 1, you have b. So, doing the same thing here, you can have 1 over 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 1 over k. And if you cross multiply, you have k times 1. That means you have k equals 3, 1, 2, 5 times 1. You have 3, 1, 2, 5. So that is the value of our k. The next thing would be to check you have verify. 5 power k equals k power 6 to 5. And our k is 3, 1 to 5. That means you are going to have 5 power 3, 1 to 5 equals 3, 1 to 5 power 6 to 5. And from here, we have 5 power 3, 1 to 5 equals 3, 1 to 5 is 5 power 5. This is power 6 to 5. So from here, we have a power x to the power of y equals a power x times y. We need to multiply this out. Our 5 power 3, 1 to 5 equals 5 power 5 times 5, 25, 5 carry over 2, 5 times 2, 10 plus 2. That is 12. I have to carry over 1. 5 times 6, 30. 30 plus 1, we have 31. So it is obvious that this part and this part are now the same. So that is it, guys. Thank you and goodbye.